Look at all that water down in there coming off the creek. That is for another video. Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to a beautiful day out here at North Country Off Grid. The birds are shining, the sun is chirping. It is a beautiful day. Can I come with me? Kelly's gotta work on her cool guy walk. But today guys, we are headed out to the cow pasture because, oh we gotta switch sides to cows, I'm getting a shadow. There we go, that's more professional. Today we are heading out to the cow pasture guys because we are going to deworm our cows. It is a beautiful day. It has been raining last week and you can't deworm cows on a rainy day or at least you shouldn't because we're putting a topical dewormer on them. So it is a liquid dewormer that you put across their back and we'll show you guys what we're using and what we're doing once we get up here. We gotta get the cows fed, get them to stand in a nice little row and then deworm them. If you guys are new to the channel, welcome. Hit that subscribe button, stick around as we go deworm the cows. So here's the product we're using. This is just an ivermectin dewormer. It's a pour on for cattle. So it's, it's gonna be a liquid. It's gonna give us our uh, measurements that we need. And this is a small dose. This is actually good for 10, 550 pound calves. So it's designed for small herd calves. Um, we're using it on 10, or excuse me, five full grown cows for the most part. So uh, perfect dosage for the amount of cows that we have. So we are going to take this, get our measurement, and then just pour it across their back. And like I was telling you, you wanna wait for a nice dry day because if you do it on a wet day, it is going to wash off. So we wanna get this down across their back, down across their back and into their butt area. And then we've got the cows over here um, just so we can access them easily and get to them. So we just threw them some feed. We just threw them some feed for, for ease of handling. Although these cows are very easy to be around anyway, this just keeps them distracted while we put something across their back. Okay, simple to use guys, 25 milliliters, 550 pounds. So each one of these animals is just gonna get two of these dumped across its back. Farmer math.
that is it guys a simple easy process with the pour on um, to me that that seems a lot better than uh, giving shots right if we had to give them shots we would have to more than likely squeeze them um, hold them give them a shot uh, and then let them go so a much bigger process so this pour on is just so much more simpler now if you watched us do it you saw that there was actually two of my cows that I didn't give any dewormer to and it is because we are fairly confident that they are um, pregnant and going to calve soon and we have not got an answer back yet as to whether or not this product is safe to use on pregnant cows I'm pretty sure it is but there's no need to take the risk we're just waiting to get that answer back and then uh, once we do, we'll come back and, and uh, um, give them their dewormer if, if that's the case. Otherwise, we're going to wait for them to calve and then we'll give it to them once they've calved. So Lila didn't get one and then Tilly didn't get one either. And those two cows just, um, they're looking fantastic coming out of the winter. The other ones are skinnier than we wanted them to be and it's part of the reason why we're deworming them. Um, they're skinnier than we wanted them to be and once it rained on them um, It really shows their size and so we're a little worried that there's a worm load um, or something that because they've, they've lost some weight Which is what we don't want so um, Getting a quick hit on the worms um, the, the flies the bugs um, all the stuff that that this dewormer actually kills um, Just getting a head start on it for the spring So we'll try to put the weight back on them throughout the spring and the summertime and then maybe probably um, we'll wind up sticking to a deworming schedule from this point forward. So quick tip for you guys, for those of you who are wanting cows, anytime you set up infrastructure, do it in a way that you can handle your cows safely and effectively. Um, one of the things that we did, which this isn't hard to do, we just created a fence line where we feed them. It's reinforced with heavier um, panels, so they're not busting the fence down. But we're putting uh, grass over the top there, feeding them down here. It's so This is so hard to do, swing a hand and a camera at the same time. Um, we can feed them there, and while they're there, we can handle them, we can touch them from over the fence. Um, we can play with them, they get used to us, and then that allows us to get in here and walk around them, and then we don't get beat up by them or hurt by them. So always think about infrastructure whenever you're getting set up for cattle. Uh, we don't have a squeeze chute. Uh, what we've used in the past is just taken some of these cattle panels and pinched the cow together and then blocked them from backing up and then give them shots that way. Um, that is an option until we have a squeeze chute or a head catch. Credo came out to see his cows. All right, guys, well, that is it for today's video. It is a quick, easy video. Uh, we only have the five cows, so so deworming cattle for us does not take a day. It's not a huge operation. Um, so it's just a quick, easy process with that pour-on stuff. I think it is. it just makes it easier. Um, I'll put a link in the description below, so if you guys are looking for that product specifically for your farm, um, you'll know which one I used. Check with your vet also anytime you are using dewormers you want to switch them up um, because you will you will create immunity uh, in your parasites if you're continuing to use the same or can uh, can create immunity if you continue to use the same um, um, dewormers all the time. Well that is it guys if you have any questions put them in the comments below let me know what you think of the Scottish Highland cows for some reason people always mix these things up and call them yaks which I think is hilarious uh, they don't even look the same but that's okay Scottish Highland cows they're the shaggy ones super friendly um, super efficient for a homestead we absolutely love them hit that thumbs up on the way out guys and we will catch you on the next one Good job, Fritos. He closed that small one. He wants to go more in slow-mo. Oh, he needs to come out with me to do your chores. Look at him go. Here's Jack Thank you.
Yeah, buddy. 